We are continuing the tour of the first Zoom Rescue Center for Exciting Animals in Denmark. This is the seventh part of the 12th part guided tour series together with me, Nico, well, and Gorm, my Alaskan Malamute trickster puppy, who is joining us on this guided tour. Today it's about raccoons and some very small animals in the second part of the episode. Let's get started. First, let's meet our raccoons. These intelligent, adaptable creatures have been rescued from private owners who was misled by pet shops about their dietary needs. Some were told that withholding meat would prevent bad smells, but this advice led to severe malnutrition and poor living conditions for the raccoons. These two, male and female, are older, a bit overweight, and are really, in this case, having a good retirement where we do what we can. Our requirements for the animals being able to live here in the rescue zoo is that we are able to give them a high living standard. That means that it is it's not a good life if it's you know in constant pain or if it's not possible to rehabilitate them or if they're missing all their limbs or you know something really outrageous. We make sure that you're looking a bit different. It's okay you're missing a limb or missing a piece of fur and something that we can treat or pain manage and stuff like that. But they need to have a high living standard. And when that is said, it doesn't matter if it's a small animal or a big animal, there is a house or a place for them here in the rescue zoo. Now let's turn our attention to some of the smaller but equally important residents here at the rescue zoo, our guinea pigs. With many people purchasing them as pets during the COVID pandemic, these adorable animals often end up here at the rescue zoo when children lose interest and families realize they cannot provide the necessary care. Guinea pigs can live up to five years, so it's essential to understand the commitment involving in owning one of them. They need proper nutrition, social interaction, a good environment. We are dedicated to give our guinea pigs a loving home and the care they deserve. And we think it's important to tell even the stories at some of the, you could say, less exotic or more, you know, quote unquote normal in, especially in the, in the pet world, animal like the guinea pigs, because it doesn't matter what kind of animal it is, they deserve a good home, they deserve a good life. And if they're used as almost like a toy to entertain our kids, we need to remember our animals and we need to remember the commitment and we need to remember what it means to own these amazing animals. And Gom really wanna see some goats now. All right, let's show everybody some goats. <laughs> Next up in the rescue zoo tour, we're gonna see the meerkats, the kookaburros, and the big porcupines. Next up on the rescue zoo tour. 